Primary radars or primary surveillance radars are used by air traffic controllers at airports to detect aircraft positions in the controlled airspace. These radars were initially designed during World War time, and were primarily used for air surveillance. Later this system was used by air traffic controllers for both military and commercial aircraft surveillance. How primary radars calculate the position? Primary radars are working based on the echolocation principle. These radars are placed in a slanting position and rotate 360 degrees at the speed of 5 to 12 revolutions per minute, and send electromagnetic signals. Upon reaching the aircraft or any other object, the signal is reflected and returned to radar which helps to identify the position. Primary radar calculates the position of aircraft using the following measurements. The distance is calculated based on wave transmitted and received time. The angle is calculated based on the radar antenna direction. The radial velocity is calculated as base Doppler effect algorithm. These radars will detect any non-cooperative objects in the coverage area including aircraft, and display them in the ATC monitor. Primary radar is capable to provide an accurate horizontal position to air traffic controllers. However, additional radars are required to identify the precise vertical position of aircraft. The primary radar was used extensively before secondary surveillance radar invention for monitoring aircraft or any other object movements in the controlled airspace. Even though, primary radars had many advantages, it also has a lot of disadvantages in terms of implementation and usage. Inadequate coverage. Sometimes primary radars are unable to provide coverage of airspace above the antenna, due to radiation patterns. It requires multiple radars to cover the blind spots. Also, coverage is based on how strongly the signals are emitted from primary radar because the radio wave should be reflected back to radar and track any objects in the airspace and unable to track the other aircraft with the same range. Inadequate data. Primary radar will detect all objects including aircraft in the coverage area. Also unable to provide aircraft specific information such as details of aircraft and altitude to air traffic controllers. Additional workload for controllers. Primary radars are not possible to provide the aircraft specific details. So, controller manually establishes contact with the crew on board to know aircraft details along with altitude. This will increase the controller workload, and also not suitable for crowded airports. Inefficient during low range. Primary radar uses a single frequency to send and receive signals. So it cannot send and receive at the same time. When aircraft fly at low ranges the radar will get a response during transmission itself and this results in missing aircraft data on ATC monitors. Currently, various surveillance technologies like, automatic dependent surveillance broadcast is implemented to provide real-time traffic information of the airspace and airport surface, to the air traffic controllers and pilots. These technologies are capable to gather a lot of information about the aircraft automatically and present it to the controller screen for better surveillance and situational awareness. However, primary surveillance radars are still used in airports for backup surveillance purposes. Hope you like the video. Subscribe, and click the bell icon for more video notifications.